What's up, Poker Road? Eugene Todd, bro, back with the blog. Thanks a lot, Joey, for letting me blog this year again on Poker Road. I gotta give, gotta give my man Joey a big heads up, kid. He's been doing a hell of a job with Poker Road. And, you know, I was there when Poker Road just started. And now the company's flying. Joey's working like a madman. And that's always good, bro. And when you work hard, that shit pays off, kid, at the end, so. My man! So I'm at the World Series 2009. Ready to kick some ass here, no doubt. Uh, I got here two days ago. Already something crazy happened. Uh, we got here, I think it was on Thursday. And we flew in into the... I ended up renting the same exact uh, condo that I had here last year. I rented a three-bedroom apartment. And the reason I did it is I, uh, you know, was walking distance to the Rio. So I used to get up every morning and just take a 10-minute walk and I'm there. So I decided to do the same thing this year. So we got in on Thursday. Uh, we dropped our bags and everything down here. And we decided to go to the supermarket, just, you know, get drinks and get a whole bunch of stuff for the house. We, we were there for about an hour. We come back to our condo and uh, our computers are missing. And I'm a million percent sure I had the computers with me up for sure. I had them with me because I took one. Of, I took the computer out and I couldn't get I couldn't get online. So uh, I know for a fact we had them here, and you know someone definitely came in and stole them. We got some really rowdy neighbors, and they kind of warned me about them before I before I came down here. But uh, whatever, I decided to take the apartment anyway. And that, this place looks like it's a, it looks like uh, like we're in a halfway house over here. It's sick. These guys are playing uh, smoking blunts and uh, drinking beers till three o'clock in the morning out here. These guys are crazy. So I don't know. I'm probably gonna move. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do, but uh, I'm gonna figure it out. Meanwhile, I got my. Uh, my wife's here with a couple of her friends. I played the the twenty today, the thousand uh, dollar tournament. I made it all the way up to the fifth level and got knocked out. So got knocked out of that one. Kind of upset I didn't play the forty k event because that's an event any poker player wants to play. But I haven't played. I I've been, I took a little break. I haven't even played any poker in the last. I played maybe two two tournaments in the last six months. So I'm primed right now. I feel like a fresh pickle, ready to rock the series, ready to take a couple of tournaments down here, win a bracelet, make some money for the kids. The sick part is these guys that came in and, uh, and took the computers, all they had to do was walk into the other room and we had cash laying over there and then these idiots somehow didn't take it. So I don't know. The re another reason why I think I'm, I might stay is that what are the chances of getting robbed twice? I think uh, the odds are against that happening, so, you know. Plus, I got my nine already. I had a whole bunch of people offer me their, their pieces and say, yo, you re if you want, I'll bring, you my, I'll bring a piece for you for your safety. So, if anyone's, you know, if you guys, have, if whoever did this, next time you come down here, you might get some shots in the chest. So... Be careful out there, you know. You can rob me once, but the second time, uh-uh. So we're, this is gonna be a long, this is gonna be a long growl. We're gonna be here for 40, 40, 45 days. I'm gonna play a whole bunch of tournaments. First one didn't go too well. Uh, I'll be back playing the PLO on Monday, the $1,500 tournament. And I'm gonna play as many tournaments as possible. All right, Poker Road, and I'll uh, keep you guys informed of my whatever's going on on this trip. What else? What else? Uh, that's about it. All right. Peace.